Yeah, we've been talking about this congestion here at the Port of L.A. worsening for months, as you mentioned, and uh, we can tell you that we've definitely seen some of that backup here. In some cases, ships are idling, anchoring offshore for nearly a week before they can drop off some of these shipping containers here at the Port of L.A. And part of President Biden's plan today is a shift at the port to operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's a push from the White House to clear supply chain disruption, slowing the nation's economic recovery from the pandemic. So as of yesterday morning, there were 58 container ships reported offshore waiting to unload. Biden scheduled to make an announcement today about a similar plan that's already in place at the port of Long Beach. It includes nearly doubling the number of hours that cargoes transferred from container ships offshore to delivery trucks on highways. Crews will work overnight with you Union members reportedly filling the extra shifts and major shippers and retailers, including Walmart, FedEx and Samsung, have already agreed to unload during off peak hours, freeing up more space on the docks. But experts say these delays are expected to impact holiday shopping. Start to put your Christmas list together and holiday list together early. Get those must have things now because they definitely will be in short supply because we're seeing a shipping crisis like we've never seen before. It'll be merchandise to buy. The question is the top five or ten things on your list, the things that your kids want or you want, uh, are the same things that everybody wants. And with his announcement today, the president's goal is to process and unload 3,500 extra containers during the night each week. Our local ports here account for over 40 percent of shipping containers making their way into the U.S. The port of L.A. is the busiest it's been in its 114-year history, so we'll have much more later on after the president's speech this afternoon. Reporting live in San Pedro for now, back to you in the studio. Okay, Mario, thank you. And Republican Congresswoman Michelle Steele is introducing legislation that would would ban cargo ships from idling or anchoring within 24 miles off the Southern California coast. So here are the details here. The ban would take effect immediately and last for 180 days or until the president declares the backlog in the ports is over. Steele's proposal comes after the massive oil spill from a pipeline off Huntington Beach. A section of that pipeline appears to have been dragged out of place by a ship's anchor. The log jam at the ports of LA and Long Beach mean ships are waiting in the area to unload. The group California Environmental Voters called Steele's move irresponsible, saying that it puts the economy at risk and um, it, the blame is basically protecting polluters.